which is super pretty. You can't get enough. There's no other way to cook 500 pounds of turkeys. There's not a big enough oven. My name's Gator, and I cook for the Yellowstone crew. I'm in charge of craft services, moral support, shoulders to cry on, snackies. I also play Gator on the TV show. I'm feeding cowboys off the camera and on the camera. Gator is like a culinary Picasso. Nobody cooks like Gator. He is from Louisiana, and he brings all of that love into his cooking. He's such a good guy. He's such a character. I love him on and off set. You know, if Gator's cooking, I'm going. We have taken to calling him Gatoring in lieu of catering. It is now a man with a truck that is a restaurant that's open for business, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks in between, crawfish, etouffee. My dad has done craft service for 27 years. He used to do big movies out in LA and I have a long history of cooks in the family, being that we're real Cajuns. So my grandmother was a very renowned cook in South Louisiana. Not professional, but if somebody heard that you got to eat in her kitchen, they were jealous. So it just comes natural for us to feed people. It's just what we do. I don't know any other way. So I started as soon as I got out of high school working on some super small, horrible, ice cold movie in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And I froze my butt off and worked my butt off. And I said, I'm gonna go get all my stuff. I'll be right back. I never turned back after that. What the? Get her. Yeah. What's that? Grilled octopus. Pass me the potatoes. My first big scene was the grilled octopus scene. Everybody does that one. I think that was my first time on camera ever. Baptism by fire, man. They just threw me in. And of course, my first scene ever is serving Kevin Costner something he doesn't want to eat. Hey, Gator. Yeah. Would you mind making me a smoothie, please? Sure. What kind of smoothie? Two scoops of ice cream, three shots of vodka. I usually don't get a lot of notice. Taylor usually just makes it up. I think he thinks it's funny, which it is. So he'll come up with the idea, and then they'll ask me what sorts of foods I would have or what my reaction would be to that. Can I have some choco chips? Yeah, sure. That sounds pretty good. How about two of those, Gator? You don't want some tasty bacon, or I'll get elk sauce? Well, I think choco chips this morning. And of course, the running joke is I make all this awesome food, and I work super hard to do it, and then they want to eat freaking cereal for breakfast. This is, for the record, it's gonna be fine, Gator. I go through phases. I, you know, I've been here so long, nearing four years that I've been on the Dutton Ranch. So I love my barbecue, I love doing smoked meats, but in the end, it's, it's the Cajun food, the food of my ancestors. Stuff that you can't get anywhere else. Nobody knows how to make that, and that's my favorite. So much crawfish meat, dude. So much. So much. Like the most, I've, the most I've ever put. Yeah, baby. Yep, the only crawfish HP you're going to find in Montana. This is one of my favorite things to play with. It's one of my favorite toys. It's showy and flashy, and, and it makes a big scene, and it smells delicious. You want to see? versatile, man. I can cook anything on there, and it comes out cool. But today, we have 15 25-pound turkeys on there. I'm old school. I like salt and pepper, and I like fresh chilies. Hatch chilies, and habaneros, and jalapenos, and Thai chilies. That's my spice. I like that freshness that it brings. Some days, I'll go through 100 pounds of onions in a day. Everything has onions in it, because they're delicious. And butter. Shh. But let's start over. Butter. We need the butter, and I use only the best. Many years of practice, I've, I can read the crew. People are feeling blue. They want chicken noodle soup or, you know, whatever their mom would cook them. That first day of fall, the cinnamon comes out, the nutmeg comes out. You can tell what they want. If you feed people, it goes a long way in making them happy. We would be done. We'd be done without Gator. What Gator can do in the middle of nowhere, very, very limited resources, I still ate better than I've ever eaten in my life. Gator takes really, really, really good care of us. Mm -hmm. That's how you make a biscuit. Yellowstone, new episode Sundays at 8 on Paramount Network.
Brought to you by ZipRecruiter. Go to ZipRecruiter.com and put ZipRecruiter to work for you.